okay good morning children so today so today we will be doing some more questions and uh, here uh, so one of the question which we are going to do is write a program to find the product of all the digits of a given number the question is to find so we have to find the product of all the digits of a given number so here now i am going to share my screen so all of you please try this question so the question is to find the product of all the digits of a given number how to do that so last time we have done one question based on number using for loop this time also we are going to do the same so hurry up please tell how to do that what changes are needed in this variable in this sorry in this program in this code here the product is how to do that we will be needing one variable p here so we will be needing one variable p here tell but a please what to do anybody simple because the loop will not change and this loop tells us that it will go till number is more than 0 so i am going to explain it one more time and here we need to write p is equals to p into a so what to do is that uh, here suppose this is the number 123 so initial value of p is 1 initial value of p is 1 and now what is happening first of all this digit which we have got is 3 so initially the initial value of p is 1 so 1 into 3 p becomes 3 then when this statement executes the last digit of this number will get eliminated and now when again this part executes this part we will be extracting 2 and this time it is 3 into 2 and after that what happens when we eliminate this to, uh, when we execute this statement which is n is equals to n by 10 this last digit will get eliminated and the number will become 1 and after that what happens after that into 1 will happen so finally the product will be 6 this will be the answer so i'm just executing this part so children suppose the number is 123 you can see that the product of the digits is 6 so if any problem then please tell class 9 any problem with this code children in this we have to multiply all the digits anjali singh 
Anjali, but any doubt? Janya Jaswal, Aditya Sena, Kartike Singh, Kartike Singh, Akshat Pandey, Garima, Anuj Vijesh. Any problem? Any doubt? Yes, this is a code. I am posting the same code on GCR also. This is how you can extract all the digits. Here suppose the name of the class is product. And I am just posting the code on GCR. So this is what we have done. Now we are going to do another one. Children, this time we want to check if all the digits of a given number are 1 or not. And that number is known as rep unit number. So rep unit number is the number in which all the digits are 1. So in this case, what we have to do, first of all, suppose we have taken a variable num. Enter number. Now, how to do, how to check that if all the digits are 1? Yes, anybody? Gaurav Shivasav. Aviral Pandey. How to check if all the digits of a given number are 1? Almost correct, Gaurav. Almost, but not 100%. <laughs> Yes, uh, if you have any issues, then please tell. What is the initial value of P, Aditya Dev? Aditya Dev Sinha, what is the initial value of P? So, initial value of P is 1 if, then your answer is correct. P is equals to 1. Initial value of P will be 1. The rest of things you have understood. Okay. And here you have to check if product is 1. Yes. Anybody else? So children, this question is very simple. What you need to do is, you just have one variable p, so that you can multiply all the digits here. 
and this variable a you need for extraction of the digit and now what you need to do is you just start a loop and that will go from uh, that will go till this given condition is true and here num is equals to num by 10 you have to do now what to do is just extract the digits and here you have to write p is equals to p into a So since the initial value of p was 1 and now if you multiply all the digits and if all the digits are 1 then definitely p will remain 1. So finally you need to check if p is 1. Here it is rep unit number else not not rep unit number i hope you people have understood suppose the number is triple four times one yes definitely it is a rep unit number and if not suppose i am passing one one two one 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 so it is not a rep unit number because one of the digit is one. So if you multiply all the digits, the resultant will be what? Two, not one. So here this is what you can do. So in case children, if you have any doubt, any confusion, please tell. Now, one question I am giving you, all of you please try that, 2 plus, this is a series, terms here it is 8 so dear children please try this program hurry up fast Divyansh Chaudhary, but it is not correct. Anybody else who has done this? Yeah. 
बेटा दिस लूप विल नॉट गो अप टू एन बिकॉज देन द नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स विल विल बिकम विल बी रिड्यूज बाय फिफ्टी परसेंट सो देर इज अ स्मॉल मिस्टेक इन योर प्रोग्राम Tanya Singh Tanya Singh your program is correct Tanya Singh your logic is correct and Divyansh Chaudhary uh, it will be better if you just write the condition that i is 2 okay i is less than or equals to 2 into n then i is equals to i plus 2 then your program is correct and one of the semicolon is also missing there Divyansh anybody else yes please tell beta hurry up what happened anybody else ओके ऋत्विक सिंह शौरमान बेटा योर शौरमान योर द कंडीशन ऑफ योर कोड इज नॉट करेक्ट दिव्यांश चौधरी यू हैव पोस्टेड द कोड अगेन द सेम कोड हु नो आई कैन नॉट सी द चेंज ओके नाउ नाउ इट इज करेक्ट नाउ दिव्यांश इट इज करेक्ट शौरमान शौरमान योर कोड इज नॉट करेक्ट खुशाली सिंह योर कोड इज ओके ऋत्विक सिंह योर कोड इज ओके यस एनीबडी एल्स जयवर्धन uh javardhan your code is uh... beta your code in your code jav aditya jain it is calculating from 1 so it is adding 1 3 5 like that it is not adding even number javardhan goel your code is okay so remember that if you are children if you are using that uh, i is equals to i plus 2 and if you are starting the loop from 2 then only it is correct yes so i want to show you so that series based question So here it is already. So what to do is simply you need to input that limit, and you need a variable that is strong, and then here sum. And what is needed? Enter limit. so here you have entered the limit and now you start a loop and that will go from 1 till it is less than or equals to up to limit i plus plus and what you can do term is equals to term plus i into 2 you can do so this is how the values will come so first term will be 2 the second term will be 6 because 6 includes 2 plus 4 and the third term will be which is 6 again so 6 plus 6 it will be 12 so if you write that if you print that term
here if the limit is 5 you can see that the first term is 2 second term is 6 which is 2 plus 4 the third term is 6 which is 2 plus 4 plus 6 and the fourth term is 20 which is 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 and the third term fifth term is 30 because it is 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 that's fine now since we have to all these add all these terms so what to do is just we have to use this sum variable sum is equals to sum plus that term and after that we have to calculate print the sum the sum is that sum so here if you just give the limit 5 it is 70 is the sum so this is the first method I hope children you have understood understood or not so here I'm just posting this uh, and along with this I'm posting this question also so this I have posted okay now one more question I'm giving so please try that children the first term is 1 that second term is 1 plus 3 and the third term is 1 plus 3 plus 6 and the fourth term is 1 plus 3 plus 6 plus 10 plus 1 plus 3 plus 6 plus 10 plus 15 up to n terms how to do that all of you please apply your brain and try to attempt this question hurry up class 9th so if you people have any doubt any issues then please tell Yes, any problem children? Hello? So if you people have any doubt, any problem, then please tell us who has done. Gaurav Srivastava. Here it is, uh, but uh, no need of it is uh, no need of it up to 2 into n. No need, it is not needed. It is not required. Yes, try. Yes, uh, what changes are needed? Hurry up fast, tell me. 
No, uh, Rithvik, it's not correct. That also you can do. Kushali Singh, uh, Divyansh Chaudhary. Divyansh Chaudhary and Kushali Singh, your code is correct. Good. Divyansh Singh, Kushali, Divyansh Chaudhary, Kushali, your code is okay. Yes. Anybody else? Anybody else? Yes, it's correct. Chandri Shivastav. Yes, correct, Buta. Zafar, it's correct. Anybody else? Yes, anybody else? Please tell. Siddharth. Anuj Vijesh. Yes, yes, Vardhan Walia, but it's correct, yes, Vardhan. Children, if you focus on this series, then first of all, you have just to see that how to bring the values like. Uh, How to bring the values like, uh, suppose it is 3, it is 6, it is 10, it is 15. So you have to think for this. And then you have to add also. So what you need is just you should have you have one variable, suppose D. And one variable you have term. Okay. So when, what, uh, what you need to do is just you start a loop. And that will go up to limit i plus plus and then what to do is d is equals to d plus i. So what will happen with the help of this actually with the help of this these terms will come 1 will come 3 will come 6 will come then 10 will come and after that 15 will come these values will come. Because we have written d is equal to d plus i. So how these values are coming? Actually, 0 plus 1, 1 has come. And when the value of i becomes 2, it is 1 plus 2. So it means it is 3 which has come. And then i becomes 3, so 3 plus 3 which is 6. 
which has come and then 6 plus 4 10 has come and then further 10 plus 5 15 has come so these values are coming now the question is how to get that final term the whole term I'm talking about these terms actually when we got this term this one we can get from the previous term so this what we have to see and now what to do here we have to write term is equals to term plus d term is equals to term plus d we can do And after that, what to do is, we have to calculate the sum of the series. So that sum is equal to sum plus term you have to do. And after that, you can print the sum of the series is sum. So children, this is how your approach should be. So first of all, every time you have to split the series in small, small terms and then you have to see what you can do. Suppose the limit is 3, you can see that the sum is 15. Now you can check. Limit is 3, so up to this much, but it is not. Okay, yes, this is 10 plus 4 which is 14 plus 1 which is 15 so this is how the sum is coming as 15 if you pass the value 3 so 15 is coming so that's fine and I hope you people have understood this so anybody who has not understood please tell Class ninth. Class ninth. If anybody has not understood, please tell. But please tell what happened. Class ninth. Am I audible, children? So any problem with the code? So I hope that you people have understood uh, at least the for loop you have understood. In for loop any problem? In for loop any problem children? Children one thing here I would like to show you that a for loop can be multiple variable loop also that is very important because often I use such type of loops uh, this is what you know already that it is from 1 to up to 5 so here if we just write so you can see that the values will be from 1 to 5 you can see that it is coming 1 to 5 and if I'm changing the line, it is like this. But sometimes, children, it can be a multiple variable. So you can write j is equals to 5, comma. You can create or declare multiple variables. So while we are incrementing the value of i, we can decrement the value of j also. And then if you just put a comma over here and want to pr print the multiple values of i and j you can see the output will be this so how this loop is going on initially when the value of i is 1 at the same time the value of j is 5 when i was incrementing at the same time j was decrementing when the condition when this condition became false the whole loop terminated so this is how we can use 
इन अवर प्रोग्राम लेटर ऑन सो आई होप यू पीपल हैव अंडरस्टूड एनी प्रॉब्लम क्लास क्लास नाइन्थ ओके नाउ डियर चिल्ड्रन आई एम जस्ट पोस्टिंग यू द लिंक फॉर सो दैट यू पीपल कैन मार्क योर अटेंडेंस एंड हेयर इट इज द लिंक इज हेयर नाउ यू ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज मार्क योर अटेंडेंस and if you people have any doubt any query then uh, you can ask otherwise after marking your attendance you can leave the session thank you